is up what is good youtube it's your boy that guy malachi coming at you with another video uh today we're gonna be looking at uh, microsoft's new ai apparently it did a 20 years of research in 80 hours that's pretty good 20 years of research in two weeks give or take well 80 hours give or take a week and a half that's some pretty good shit so let's get into that um check the the rooters post on it all right january 9th microsoft has worked with the u.s national laboratory to use artificial intelligence to rapidly identify a material that can mean producing batteries that require 70 percent less lithium than now the company said on tuesday <laughs> the replacement of the replacement of much of the lithium with sodium a common element found in the table soil still needs extensive evaluation by scientists at the Pacific Northwest National Library in Richland, Washington, to determine whether it will be suitable for mass production. Something that could have taken years, we did in two weeks, like I said. I just guessed that off just the top of my head, given 80 hours time. But, uh... Yeah, something that could have taken us years, we did in two weeks, Jason said. An executive vice president at Microsoft told Reuters, uh, that's the part of most, that's, that's what they're most excited about. So they did 20 years of research in two weeks. Like this AI could speed up research by 80%. <laughs> like this shit could really go somewhere. Uh, let's see, where are we at? We just picked up one problem. Oh shit, there's a problem with it. There are thousands of problems to go solve and it's applicable to all of them. Okay. The new technology could one day have applications in cars, energy grids, and other places. Okay, so they plan on using this AI everywhere. It uses much, oh wait, no, they're used to using this battery everywhere, not the AI, my bad, sorry. Take this off. Uh, let's see, which is expensive to mine and concentrated in a few countries and more sodium, which is cheap and abundant. Uh, true. Brian Aberson, chief digital officer of PNNL, said in an interview that the process used to find an alternative battery material could be applied to many other chemistry materials. Science problems in the lab is working on. I don't know who wrote this, but it doesn't read well. Microsoft used a combination of artificial intelligence models trained on molecular science data and traditional scientific supercomputers. Okay, but how's the battery? It was able to narrow down more than 32 million possibilities to 18 candidates at the PNL. Scientists then examined to decide which ones to synthesize and test in the lab. The magic here is the speed of artificial intelligence assisting in the identification of products and materials and our ability to put those ideas into action in a laboratory, Abraham Hampson said. His name's Abrahamson. Sounds like a fake name. All of that being brought to bear at the disposal of an individual scientist, this is the paradigm shift that we're looking at. To us, it's tremendous promise. Like I was saying, uh, like this could gene research. If this thing really can just smash together a shitload of data and compile it in like, cause that's the problem with AI is compiling data. This is like the fastest on the planet that I've seen so far. Like this shit's kind of crazy. Um, and the material that they found was called into was it into one one six? Yeah, it's into one one six. Is that what it is?
been used to power a light bulb, so uh, that's cool. But uh, until we turn this bad boy into some big ass batteries, we still gotta mine lithium. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. See, lithium is also referred to as white gold, but it's fucking terrible for the planet. It is bad, like really bad. Uh, fuck. Let's see here. BBC didn't have much on it. I want to see what it looks like. That's not. That's not what I typed in. I typed in N two one one six. What does it look like? See, this battery shows up. No one has images of N2116. Is it that new of a material? Yes, yeah, that new of a material, huh? It's groundbreaking. Groundbreaking material named N2116 promises to significantly reduce lithium consumption in batteries by up to 70%. Is fucking crazy. Found through the collaborative efforts of Microsoft, the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, Artificial Intelligence, and Supercomputing, the innovative solid-state electrolyte has the potential to transform the battery industry by offering a safer, more sustainable alternative to conventional liquid or gel-like lithium batteries in addition to addressing the problem of lithium scarcity. N2116 boasts exceptional performance, longevity, and safety features as the demand for electric vehicles and reliable energy storage systems skyrocket. This novel solid-state electrolyte may become a game-changer, paving the way for more efficient, long-lasting, and environmentally friendly power sources. I'd invest in the companies that are going to produce these batteries. That's just me. It's a groundbreaking technology. That N2116, that rocket power. Innovative breakthroughs. That's what we like to see. Uh, researchers used AI and supercomputers to analyze over 32 million possible inorganic materials in a short time, narrowing the list down to just 18 promising options within a week. These potential materials exhibited exceptional properties holding the key to remarkable technology advancements and the usage of the AI and supercomputers not only saved significant time, but also unleashed a new approach to materials discovery and development, like I was saying. Like, they sifted through a catalog of 32 million possible rocks that could serve as a fucking replacement. Within a week, that's on some Terry time shit. Like, <laughs> I was watching Soul last night. That's where Terry time came from. Uh, anyways, uh, the, it, it's good. It's good. Like the shit's good. It's fantastic, is what I'm saying. Um, there's not much news other than the fact that they found this. But I'm excited. This is a fucking boom for AI and a boom for batteries because Lord knows that they've been looking for a replacement for lithium batteries and they found it. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. Um, hey, I, I look into this shit, man. See what companies would make this battery, man. I might might be on some uh some new financial findings. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not uh, giving it financial advice. I'm just chatting with you. But that's all for the video, man. Thanks for sticking around. Peace out.